Let's bring in Simon Calder. He's a travel writer and joins me now from London. Hi there, Simon. Uh, this Omicron variant, uh, the new idea, the new variant uh, making its way around the world, is of course affecting travel. Uh, should people be cancelling their travel plans this festive season with things changing as quickly as they are? There is absolutely a very, very strong lack of confidence among travellers, and it's easy to see why. I'm here at uh, just outside Heathrow Airport, which you can see there. I've just flown in from the US and talking to passengers, they are very, very confused about what is required in terms of testing. Uh, they are very anxious in case, as happened last weekend, um, they suddenly find thousands of people. They're in South Africa. The Omicron variant comes out and they are now in a whole series of hotels in, in the uh, streets around me. Um, having to pay thousands of dollars in order to stay in hotel quarantine. So a great deal of upset. And frankly, I, I've just um, finally finished the process. I got in at about um, uh, maybe uh, nine o'clock, uh, so two hours ago, local time. I've been going through all the bureaucracy and uh, it's extraordinary what you need to do in terms of testing, filling in forms. And of course, that's because the health authorities want to keep a lid on what is happening in, uh, in, in terms of international travel. And while the World Health Organization are very much against travel bans, they effectively say things are gonna spread anyway. It is certainly the case that uh, across Europe in particular, um, but also across the United States and into Asia, uh, there are very serious concerns about uh, the, the coming, well, just three weeks from now, um, in, in the uh, Christian world, they will be celebrating Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's clearly a, a very popular time to be traveling. Yeah, and that popular time, of, of course, is having a huge impact on the tourism industry alone that has suffered for almost two years now. I think of uh, South Africa, this is the time of year when they would have had about 300,000 people from the UK uh, traveling on holiday there. How does the travel even industry even begin to recover from something like this? That's such a good question. And for South Africa and the other countries around, so uh, uh, Botswana, Namibia, uh, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Malawi, and so on. It is an extremely difficult time. That is because um, you, uh, that they were hoping, um, and things were looking good for this winter, uh, which is so the northern winter, the southern summer. They were thinking, okay, we will make up for the, uh, uh, the time, the money we have lost. And, and it was looking really good. And then suddenly everything went into reverse. And now, uh, you've got uh, people from Europe cancelling trips because um, their governments are saying if you go to South Africa, you are going to have to self-isolate. And of course, the South African government is furious. They say, look, we are sharing information that we are getting because we uh, care about the world. And now they, many people are saying that they're being punished for being open, transparent and very, very good at the science. And Simon, what's the travel industry long term trying to do to counter the effects of the pandemic? It's not just countries in southern Africa that are experiencing this, but countries all over the world are feeling the impact. Uh, they certainly are. Uh, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, they, they definitely are feeling the impact um, everywhere, um, right across the Mediterranean, in Europe uh, and into uh, uh, the, the Indian subcontinent, Thailand, which has been having a terrible time, very, very tourism dependent. Um, the United States, oddly, is the one place where tourism is doing well, but that's mainly because you have a lot of uh, Americans are just traveling, visiting Florida, visiting California. Um, and so America is doing okay. Pretty much the rest of the world, it is international travel is uh, at, at crisis point. And of course, Tens of millions of jobs around the world absolutely depend on uh, on tourism. And if we are going into effectively a full two years of no significant tourism, that is going to be a crisis for the people who are uh, uh, employed. And of course, devastating economically for so many countries. Simon Calder, live to us there from London. Thank you so much.